It's February of 2015 and Ugandan club rugby's glamour tie is being played. A torn jersey at full time makes it starkly apparent that pleasantries were few and far between during the cup tie. When heathens and cobs lock horns, it's not just the jerseys at risk. It's rare that a referee comes through unscathed and with any luck, their reputation enhanced. Sauda Diru proved to be the exception back in February of 2015. It's one of those unwritten rules that taking up the whistle in men's top level rugby is a gendered role. Here in Uganda, Adiru is ensuring that heavy duty jobs don't become the preserve of men. But before Adiru became a referee, she was a player, and a good one at that. I played for Uganda, uh, Lady Crane, um, from 2003 up to around 2008. Yeah, I played uh, 15s and 7s, uh, respectively, and um, got out. I had some uh, health issues, uh, 2009, 10, 11, I uh, started training, uh, 2012, I made the national team. Playing rugby made it much easier for Adiru to be beaten by the refereeing bug. It was kind of simple because uh, I had played the sport and then I had seen uh, referees, you know, because I played different games and different referees, you know, uh, were handling our games. but. There's something that happens. Uh, if I maybe makes, because we're all human, and makes a mistake, and you're like, ah, no, it shouldn't have been like this, you know. So, I was, I was intrigued, yeah, into, ref, into refereeing. Uganda's most qualified rugby referee says Adiru's meteoric Christ is not down to tokenism. Ramzi Olinga has watched Adiru work incredibly hard to get to the top on merit. It's proven that the, the men, the men, the men run faster and 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 uh, and, uh, and do things quicker than than, uh, than, uh, than the average woman. So obviously she has to work uh, doubly hard to to keep up with the with the, with the men's pace of the game. So for her to, to just be where she is to officiate a, a, a man's game has been due to a very hard work, intensive training, and definitely it's 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 easier for the for the for the men to get to that level. Than it is for the woman, so it is, a, it is a remarkable achievement she has done. The remarkable achievement has not been without incidents. It may be empty now, but on match days, the stand behind me is always jam packed with fans. Many of them make refereeing such a thankless job. For Sauda Adiru, there is an extra layer to the vitriol. The odd encounter with sexist attitudes from fans hasn't shaken Adiru. The thing is, uh, the respect has grown, like over the years now because they've seen me doing games and they really appreciate yeah even some of these coaches come and talk to me by overcoming the gender barrier adiru has also unwittingly empowered women watching her school season tight fives how to bind or load it over players that have committed misdemeanors challenges characterizations of women as the subjugated sex me referring uh really shows that other women can do it. Yeah? We have so many girls playing rugby, though we have very few schools that are doing uh, girls rugby. But we, try, we, we kind of try to encourage the, the sports teachers and all that to engage the girls to do the same sport. As a female pioneer in elite refereeing, Adiru is pleased that the gender gap is being closed in Ugandan rugby ranks. With eight active female referees, there is no imbalance to suggest that Ugandan rugby refereeing is an old boys club. Having proven her credentials on the local scene while she was named referee of the 2014-2015 season, Adiru is keen to excel on the global stage. I need to first uh, work hard and acquire my level 3 refereeing and then uh, maybe receive more appointments from uh, Confederation of African Rugby it's now called uh, Rugby Africa. Um, and then I'm seeing myself uh, calling games in the uh, Rugby World Cup. The World Cup may seem a bridge too far, but having walked the talk before, writing off Adiru isn't exactly a wise move. Robert Madoy, 
Interview Weekend Sport. 